Boom, boom. This is Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, we got a little bit of Soul Land Reloaded today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so we've got some continuation events going on here. Plus, we got uh, a new event uh, hidden underneath the time limited event. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so first time limited events, we do have a divine uh, tool event going on. It's for uh, one that's been up before. What's it called? Divine something. I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's called the Dragon God Crystal. Uh, I got 87 on it here. Um, I, th I think they're supposed to have one more event for this. Uh, so I'll be able to get the three more that are needed on the next event. Um, I just got uh, a few of them. Uh, they had one event out there where they had you get some extra ones. So I managed to get some extra shards from that. Um, but so, but I'm still short. So um, I'm not going to be able to get anything on the actual uh, login rewards because... Uh, they don't have that in language, but they do have some pretty nice rewards uh, if you want to build up any of these. But like I say, these are all uh, SS's, so it's not really something, you know, that's useful. I mean, you can get them and, and upgrade them. It helps your BP, but it's not really something you can utilize. You should be using SS plus uh, or triple S uh, divine tools uh, as much as you possibly can. Um, just simply because they give you higher stats. All right. So, uh Another event. Now, I'll go over this a little bit right here. There's been some confusion on exactly what this is, okay? This is not, this is server-wide, okay? So this is your entire server. As you can see, we've already finished this up. So we maxed this out. I have a very active server. So, um, but yeah, so you might not get all this if you're on one of the newer ones, okay? Uh, it just depends on how, you know, just do what you can do. Your, your job is to get the, the the coins so that you can purchase stuff inside of here this is where the goodies for you are at okay so what you do is you complete all of this and you get the firework boxes you open them up and it gives you you know miscellaneous you you, you really can't tell but it, it seems that obviously the double firecracker is of course the least uh, given one they give you multiples the other okay so then you want to fuse and that'll fuse everything into that giving you six Okay, then you basically just drag and drop. I got like four or five people asking me how to do damage. I know it, it's not expected, but you just drag it and drop it. Sometimes you'll get 450, sometimes you'll get 150, okay? Uh, it's really it's really sort of kind of hit or miss. Um, you know, you want to try to get 450 as much as possible. Um, but, it you know, it, it, it's hit or miss, and you get that, okay? Uh, so that's how you do it, okay? Okay. Um, as you can see, not very good. This was much more flexible the last time. Uh, they're not being as generous with the rewards as they were on this last year. Last year, I got to this on the last day pretty easily. Okay, this has been completely different. As you can see, we're already down to two days. Okay, and not, you know, halfway through, a little bit more than halfway through. So... Definitely going to have to purchase um, some stuff if you want. But, it, you know, you just got to spend some diamonds right here and purchase the box. Okay. Uh, and it's a choose box. So then you'll probably just choose a double firecracker. Uh, and then you'll have to start, you know, picking up. But don't wait till the last day. Okay. Don't purchase it right now because you don't know how many you're going to need to purchase. But as it stands right now, if you want to get this, I mean, it's only an SS Plus. I mean, you know, that's good. I mean, it's not bad. I would prefer if it was a triple S. Uh, if it was, I'd be no hesitation at all to spend the coins to make sure, or spend the diamonds to make sure that I got all the way to the end to get this. But since it's an SS Plus, uh, you know, I, I probably will just simply because of the fact that I'm not really crunching for diamonds. The problem is they've also got a um, time limited group buy up, okay? And there's a lot of stuff that I like to purchase inside of here. So, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's really bad, you know, but I got, I got it maxed out. It's the reason I'm not purchasing that. Uh, again, uh, SS's, I'm not really focusing on SS's. These are all maxed out anyway, so that's useless for me. Um, this, I've almost got this maxed out, 163. Uh, I almost got this fully maxed out at five. This is SS, uh, SS plus, uh, a sort of godly form. Uh, you know, you want to purchase your doomstones. You want to get all that stuff. Uh, you definitely want to get the actual wings. 
Uh, you want to get some of the spirit, of course. Uh, I picked up the related courts actually because uh, um, I think that uh, you know, really trying to get my SS triple S leveled up, you know, and you're limited to how much much related courts you can get. So they've got that inside. So they've got a time limited group buy up. Fortunately, it hasn't been impacting my diamond stash too much. So I'll probably just go ahead and uh, and on the last day, if I've only got one or two slots to go, I might do it. But I, I don't know. The, but they're being a lot lot more stingy with it this year. Um, I was able to get a lot more 450s. Usually, if you hit right about here, the last one they give you pretty much give you a 450 just about all the time. Right now, they're not. Um, so, but just try, yeah, just drag it, drag it, drop it into the center. Okay, that's all you could do at this particular point. And as you can see, they're giving you bulk of the other ones, and they're going low on the double firecrackers. But yeah, this is much, 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 much more. Um, uh, not as user friendly as it was last time. Let's just put, let's just leave it at that, okay? However, I did get the server wide, so we got all the diamonds. So, and there's still some good stuff in here, and I'll have enough to purchase quite a bit of it. Uh, there's really this is probably this is what I'm focusing on, okay? I've got all this stuff. I've got enough to buy three SS weapon triple S weapons, so I'm not worried about that. Actually, I got enough to buy four. Um, uh, these stuff that I can get this I've already got enough to make two or three more sets of these in a chest so I don't really need to feel the need to get more of that all of this stuff is already maxed out this is all s s uh, s stuff okay so I've already got this stuff all maxed out so there's really nothing in there um you know so you know I I'll grab some of the stuff in here I might you know pick up some of this pick up some of the doom stones uh, but yeah, there's not really a whole lot that I want to buy in here. So I'm pretty much to the point where I've got enough to purchase just about everything I need with 1455. So I don't really feel like the need to, to go for that SS plus. Um, that's nice, but it's you know it's not it's not something that I'm you know actually going to be uh, going for uh, in terms of that. So you know we'll just have to make a decision and done that a little bit later uh, as to what I want to do, but. Yeah, it's not as friendly. So celebration gifts, uh, same thing. This is still the festival pack. You still got two days in this. Uh, the other one, the other uh, accessory shop already cleared out. So I hope you managed to get anything in there that you wanted to. As I said in the last video, uh, some of the some of the tabs inside of here we're going to be clearing out before. Okay, some of the others. So, uh, but most of it's going to be sticking around for a, a few days, a few more days. So, but you want to you know you want to start thinking about what you might want to purchase inside of there. Uh, as time, I'm up to 96.43, so moving right along. Uh, you know, just focus in on everything. Uh, now, we know we've got a, a new event coming up. It looks like it, it, you know, I'm hoping we'll see it. It's probably going to be next week, uh, but that'll be the introduction of, of Ermega. We'll be getting our tank finally. So we'll have to see if he's any good. Um, and that'll give us a chance to, to pick up the final uh, Lugau shards as well, too. So we'll have to see if that that holds up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, just, just for this right here, drag and drop. Drag and drop it onto it. Okay. That's all it is. Uh, yeah, it's a little difficult to figure out. They really don't say anything. <laughs> There's really really nothing to tell you how to attack. Uh, but it, yeah, it's drag and drop it. So I remember the first time they did it, I think it was last year. <laughs> I... <laughs> It took me it took me about 15 or 20 minutes to figure out how the heck to move it uh, and I only accidentally picked one up and moved it a little bit when I clicked on it accidentally that I saw that it moved with my oh okay so then I just realized that you just needed to drag and drop it but they don't tell you how I mean there's nothing there's nothing did you say attack you know you know you attack the beast with your uh, with your uh, thing here okay okay use the fire crackers to attack Pack the beast. That's all they say. Okay. They don't say drag the fireworks on top of the nine and drop them. <laughs> so it's a little bit, you know. Uh, uh, first, I was looking around for the, to where to go into the battle at or something, but there was nothing. Um, so, yeah, that's all it is. It's just drag and drop. Okay. Just do it as much as you can. Uh, and then if you need, if you want to go for the end to get the SS plus. Um, Awakening item. This is for a. Of course, this is for. Um, uh, 
the rings and the necklaces. Okay, so um, for each of the types, you got the attack, the defense, and the support, and it's for the rings and necklaces, which are a little bit less, uh, a little bit less uh, obtainable, but not by much. Okay, just look for them in the other events. All you have to do is just make sure that whenever you come across a ring or a necklace awakening item, even if it's only S, purchase it because you can go into the store and go to synthesize and you can combine these to fuse different like if I get one more S I, I, you know I can start uh, you know, like I have to get one of one more of these which means I have to get these and then make it into SS's and then you make the SS's like I can fuse an SS plus right here uh, and this is this is for a necklace uh, that's definitely something I'm looking for is my necklace so I've now fused it Okay, but I have to fuse, you know, I have to fuse it uh, a bunch of times to get enough to make it into an SS. Okay, so, but yeah, that's, that's the way, you know, so that's the way it works. But yeah, you can fuse things, so just get a bunch of copies of them and fuse them, uh, and you'll be able to, you know, to get what you need. Okay, and then you can utilize those uh, for whatever they're, you know, whatever you're going to use, utilize them for. Okay, in this particular point, it doesn't really matter. So, uh, but yeah, just keep in mind that you want to actually focus on uh, getting chests for that inside of all the event. In most of the events, there's one hidden away somewhere. Um, a lot of times we overlook things for that, okay? Uh, and we do things for that. So, we focus on getting the shards for our SS. We focus on, yeah. It, it, Focus, and we get accessories that uh, we don't really focus on the chest that's got the single item in it, but that's a lot of the way to get it. You can get them inside of this when they ever they have the awakening event, but they don't have the awakening event nearly as often as they used to. They've got so much stuff in the game right now uh, that you know. Usually, I mean, when we first started out in the first six or seven months of the game, I mean, they're having an awakening event every two weeks. We were getting deep sea, you know, we would get the silver, the deep sea silver, we were getting, you know, awakening items, we're getting all that stuff, and we were able to get a regular pace. Now they don't give it hardly at all. So basically, I'm just saving all this up, and when they have an awakening event, I'll max it out and get the, get the, the like, 30, I think you get 30 deep sea silver or something once you, once you hit the maximum chest. So that's what I hold off on this, okay? But yeah, you got to wait for an awakening event to come along, and like I said, they don't have much anymore. Um, I've got all of my main characters awakened up. Uh, and as I said, I, I, the reason I wanted to get that is because I want to start, uh, I want to start awakening, throw some awakening on uh, Sigat Tang San, since he's going to be sticking around for a little while. Um, we're going to be replacing him with Hulu. But, it, you know, I'll, as always, you can recycle this stuff and get the, get the items back. So don't panic if you do something you're not sure about. Um, like, I'm going to be pulling all of the awakening uh to get the deep sea silver and stuff back off of um, Cleo Scott, except for the weapon. I will probably keep the weapon on him because I've got the weapons. Yeah, I can cash the weapons in that I get back from this. I'll get back the weapons that I purchased. I can cash those in for tickets, but I'm not really in need of tickets at the moment. I might just keep the awakening just for this and pull it off of all the others. Okay, all the others don't really take anything except the actual uh, silver, so it's not like I'm getting anything else back. Um, but I might keep these on him just for the time being. You know, I've got enough, I've got enough silver that I could get most of the awakening done without pulling it. But I want to get—I don't have enough to completely max out Hugh's awakening. Um, I'm a little bit short, so I'm going to have to pull some from him. So I'll start pulling them from these first. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to need this and this. I'm pretty sure after I pull these two, I'll have enough uh, to actually fully awaken you. And then if that's the case, I'll just leave this on him uh, for the time being. He's still going to be in my support team, so it's not like he's going to be leaving. He will be one of the support attackers. Um, uh, BB, Do uh, not BB, but um, Bo, Siga, uh, the, the old Siga, Bo will be leaving the support. Right now I've got Wu. Uh, BB dog and um, 
Bo as uh, support. So when 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 Hugh takes the place as my uh, attacker in the main team, uh, which she's a beast, so you should be saving up for her. He's going to move into my. He'll be my fifth strongest character. So it'll be Clear Sky, Wu, and Bo or, or Bibi Dong. Clear Sky, Wu, Bibi Dong will be the three support attackers. Okay, and then. Uh, Bo will be relegated to one of the other team members. Okay, so at that at, you know at that particular time, um, but yeah, so that's what I want to do. So I'll be pulling some stuff off of him. Um, he, he was. You got to understand something. He this was the first SS plus character that was released. Okay, after the main characters were you know they had the main characters. Uh, there were like four of them. The four, you know, simple ones. Uh, and then they came out just like everything else with the SSs. Um, and, and, but then they started releasing, you know, and he was really a powerful, powerful unit when he first came out. He was the strongest character in the game until they until they released uh, Wu and Seagai Tanks and SS Pluses. That's, you know, after that, he tapered off. Because the last two that they entered out were overpowered. He's no longer uh, the strongest in the game. The strongest SS Plus right now is Tang San and Wu. Okay. Different characters. Tsika Tang San is ranged. Wu's more uh, melee. So based on what you need in your team is what you should be choosing as to which one of those two characters you want to max out. I needed range, so I went with Tsika Tang San. Wu I hear is just as powerful. I do got her as my first support, and she'll still be support. She'll be my second support, but she's she's melee. Okay, so keep that in mind. But I have Evil Eye, S Triple S, as my melee, and then I have, of course, my tank Ren, Angel Ren, as my tank. She's melee, uh, and I, now I've got Clear Skies me. So I have three melee right now, and I want to drop back to two ranged, two melee. So that's why I need Hugh, and Hugh's awesome power. They, she's taken out SPs, from what I'm hearing, which is not surprising. She was exceedingly, as I've said numerous times, she was exceedingly powerful in her A-plus format. Um, the most powerful A-plus in the game by far. She was taking out S's. I had her in my team well. I had her and three S's in my team for quite some time. So, um, so it's not surprising to me that her triple S form is a total beast. It does a ton of manic da magic damage, and nobody seems to have defense against it. Plus, she does, it's just like Gatlin gun. She fires just, it's like rapid fire. She shoots off these balls, and it just destroys whatever it hits. Um, so, yeah, so it's not surprising that she's going to be that. So I, I plan on using her, um, and that'll take me back to two range with Seagot Tank San. Um, who, and then, of course, Angel Ren and Evil Eye, Triple S, Evil Eye. So that'll be my four main. Um, after that, we'll... we'll, we'll I'll have enough to, yeah, I'll probably have enough to do another, but I, see, here's the problem with doing it. If I do take Erming, Erming's a tank, okay? Um, the problem with that is, what am I going to do with Ren once I take her out? Okay, she's a tank. She heals herself. She does not do a lot of damage. She does very little damage. So her drain job is taunting and taking the damage, and she can tank. She's an excellent tank. No problems at all. She never dies. Okay, so the main issue... So I, I don't really see the need to invest in Erming, even though he's, of course, going to be more powerful. Simply because of the fact that if I do go invest in him, you know, why... What am I, she's not going to be able to be used as one of my three attackers. So, you know, uh, so we'll just have to see. What I'll probably end up doing is waiting till they introduce an SP tank and then replace her. Okay, make my first SP replacement to be a tank. Hopefully they'll have an SP early, a tank early in the, in the actual release dates. Um, and then that's probably what I'll do is just put an SP, save the match, and then put an SP as my tank. Okay, that's generally what you know what I'm doing to do because the last uh, this list is not complete apparently. Um, there was one more one more release in this. There's actually 
uh, one of my subscribers, and thank you for pointing out, Oscar. They have an Oscar after Hugh, who's triple S, before they go into SPs, I believe. So Oscar is actually the last one uh, that's going to be entered in this. I don't know if that's true, but that's what they've been saying. But I don't need a healer, and uh, you know, so I, you know, I, I, Ling Ling is what I got. Ling Ling. If I needed a healer, I'd have used her at that time. But so definitely going to skip out on Oscar. Um, but uh, as soon as they come out with an SP tank, that'll probably when I decide to go ahead and replace Ren uh, with an SP tank. Okay. So what I'll probably end up doing is I'll be maxing out you, and then I'll be looking at the first SPs. Okay. Seeing what it is, you know, maybe maybe if they like if they come out with an SP attacker and then a tank farther in. Okay, I just might do it that way. But yeah, I want to get one more attacker for my actual, you know, team. Okay, uh, but I don't feel any of the triple S's. You know, I've got Sea God tanks and he's the t you know he's a little bit OP when he came out. But by the time we're getting into SPs, you know, I'd, I'd be, I'd be, my assumption is they'll probably be a, a, a SP tank sand most likely. Okay, they still need his uh, final Golden 13 Halberd form, which is his divine skill. Um, if you've watched the anime, you know he gets much more powerful than this. This is just when he became Sea God, but he actually goes to another level um, with his attainment. And it, so I'm sure there'll be an SP um, version of Tank Sand, and that's what I'll take to replace this Tank Sand. <laughs> and then I'll put this Tank Sand as one of my uh, uh, you know, support attackers. That's tentatively what I'm looking at. So... Well, I have to see. But as you can see, I've almost got his Divine Skill maxed out. It takes a long time. They don't give a lot of chests for him. But uh, you can get the two free a day, which you should be doing. Make sure that you're doing this on a daily basis. You should be clearing this out on a daily basis. Okay. Get this. Get this. Get two of these. They only offer two. So one, one, two. Right there is the uh, amount of tickets that you get. Okay. So three tickets, three tickets, six tickets, two tickets, two tickets, four tickets, eight, ten tickets. You get ten tickets. Right there they are. Triple S goes into Evil Eye. This goes into Ta A Triple S weapon. And this goes into Sea God Tank Sand, because this is the max chest. When he sank when Sea God Tank Sand is maxed out, I'll be putting them in woo. Okay? Uh, so, uh, so that's where we're going. Uh, unless they offer another chest that has other characters in it, but for right now, no, no, I don't see anything. Uh, so, but you know, I, I've been working. You know, they've been pretty generous with Evil Eye stuff. Okay, I mean, uh, enough to get some of the, you know, some of the with some awakening on it. So they've been fairly generous with getting stuff when he first came out. They had a sort of mini event with him. They've been a little bit skimpy on the shards, but that'll all change once they come out with the newer characters. Uh, once they come out with SP characters, you'll start seeing triple S shards to be a little bit more commonplace. Triple S shards will sort of replace the SS plus shards that we're getting, and I'll be able to build him up at that time. And the fact of the matter is, he's just a total beast. The biggest problem with Die from the beginning was he died all the time. He, d he never dies now. Okay, so yeah, he's just a great character. You'll find an immense, you know, immense increase in damage, uh, and his survivability is not an issue. Okay, so yeah, definitely would get him. I've got the outfit on him too, which is able to get inside of the actual battle pass. I have several videos on that. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at. All right, so that's all I got. Just a couple of events up, and that's how you do the welcoming a new year event. So just drag and drop drag and drop all right so we'll talk at you later uh remember to subscribe of course once you've subscribed you'll see a bell if you click on a little bell you get notified each time i drop a video as also like and share as that does help out the channel immensely kendrick coming from the corner signing out